everyone. Uh, we are Toti and, and I'm Alessia. We are um, Italian trip abroad, a couple that is living in London and blogging full time. Yeah, we are coming from Italy, from our name is so easy to guess. Uh, actually, we are from the south, Napoli, and uh, we are all the beautiful coast of Amalfi and Sorrento, is where we're from. And we are traveling full time now. I mean, not now, now, but uh, we are travel bloggers full time. And we started uh, our uh, website like a couple of years ago, from the wrong? Yes. Yes. Yeah. A couple of years ago, we started this path that take us. Uh, to become for um, recently for a magazine uh, uh, one of the best UK travel couple blog and that is so it's to be really proud of yes of because course. we are Italian <laughs> expatriates here and that is not easy but has been two years really challenging but yeah. really fun um, loving to meet a lot of people in this yeah. community that was that, that is something that we, we love and actually we talk about travel that is our passion mm -hmm. photography that's yes. our passion too yeah. and yeah my favorite destination uh, so long far could be Budapest that I'm writing about right now <laughs> uh, I was thinking that Budapest was amazing but once we were there we we, we just enjoyed yeah. our time there yeah, actually we so have nice. been doing like from uh, from a spa to spa day oh. a day so basically we were coming from one spa ever. to another spa to yeah. another spa and was an air birthday so it was great another ever. another amazing location that we it's have been is Sri Lanka oh, oh my I gosh I loved it this For is the first time outside Europe amazing like i could expect like the people uh the food uh the the attraction everything the culture the culture it was amazing i think he's like i want to go back like Ye honestly yes yes um, We have been in Brussels uh, a couple of years ago, more or less. Yeah, it was for um, Christmas uh, was after Christmas being home uh, in Italy. And what happened that there are two airports in Brussels. So we were in the wrong airport. We were thinking <laughs> that the airport where we were arriving in Brussels was the same where that the one that we were flying out from Brussels. Yeah. So basically we showed up to the wrong airport. <laughs> but thank God, thank God to the airlines. It was two hours and a half of delay. So we managed to go from Charlois to uh, International Brussels uh, City Airport in uh, less than an hour maybe. No. But, um, yeah, it was an hour and something. Something, yeah. So, and everyone was so nice because we're helping us, like, find the right direction, taking the other train. We went to uh, the main train station of Brussels, oh my Brussels and was and amazing. People the people were like, go, 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 there, 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 there. But Stockholm, we didn't really like it. I mean, we thought that it was like, oh, okay, it's the capital, maybe it's gonna be nice, like Copenhagen. Yeah, we um, have been to Copenhagen and it was such an amazing, and so we were thinking the same kind of culture, insane. more or less, and the same kind of architecture and uh, landscapes, <laughs> but not no. disappointed <laughs> at all. Spain. Okay, yeah. I love Spain, I love Spanish people, I speak Spanish, so Spain is like, okay. It's, I think, my second home country. Yeah, and, and she speaks Spanish so well, much better than Italian, maybe. <laughs> so we quit our job here in the UK and we moved to Malaga for six months and we've been uh, traveling all around Spain, like yeah. Madrid, uh, uh, Cuenca, Seville. So we've been staying in there for a long time. And actually when we told our parents that we were leaving the UK, they were like... Concert. <laughs> what? I mean, my father today still doesn't understand what I'm doing, but I'm just saying, okay, dad, I'm working with the laptop and I'm getting money. That's all. <laughs> and I can afford it, so easy. I mean, it's 
kind of difficult trying to explain especially when your parents are not that so new generation yeah. trying to tell them what we are doing but we're trying our best I mean they see us traveling and happy and getting paid so it's it's not it's even uh, it's not even just about our family but even about our friends oh, yeah. to explain our friends what we do so basically for them we, we just uh, spend our time on uh, on our website writing uh, stupid yeah. stuff. Uh, sometimes it's good to escape like finding uh, hidden gems, yeah. hidden spots that we love. When we go in, into the city we just get lost and find yeah. so many amazing places. But sometimes it's better that you organize your accommodation, mm. your transport, you yeah. know some places. Where you to go, where to, what to eat. If you have friends in that place, yeah. it's it's good that you send them a message and uh, and ask them tips or even like sometimes it's really good to ask to locals where to eat. Yeah. Because it is the basic for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking care about the social media where uh, everyone where I can share with everyone our journey our stories uh, where to go and what to do and he's good on the website yeah I don't good at something <laughs> yeah actually yes I don't have neither the password of Instagram so yeah. I don't know what's going on over there yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we we just try to share our skills yeah. and uh, develop our business model on it so she's even looking after uh, social media for other companies so yeah. this is uh, this is side job related to our blogging uh, if we have never done our blogging we never had other jobs mm -hmm. around sure. I see myself in five years just doing this because I love it. I love traveling. I love telling people what I'm doing. Uh, I love staying in touch with people. And there is always something to explore and to see. So if you have passion and you really want to do it, you can. It's not impossible. I mean, yeah, I've studied languages. Yeah. We had to cancel a couple of our trips like we were supposed to go in Poland, in Italy, in Spain, in Bali Traveling so, around UK So and now we are here at home, I mean I'm traveling around my house So yeah we are in London and, and we are, uh, we are locked in <laughs> Nice! <laughs> yeah. It seems like to be home and working from home it's easy but to don't get around the can can go freely to the pub meet yeah. your friends is not that easy actually it's good that our community is really big and we are doing kind of pub quits and yeah. uh, meeting online and th this is taking in touch even more than before yeah so but we're trying always to keep ourselves busy even if we are like staying home and working from home we are trying to uh, have a kind of routine like waking up early in the morning having a good breakfast working and then for example i'm doing some exercise just to don't stay sitting on a laptop all the day i'm doing gardening <laughs> At least we will, we will travel more than yeah. uh, six months now, and we are thinking not anymore just about uh, Asia, but we are thinking about even uh, South America. Uh, yeah. Most of our friends are actually coming back because of this pandemic from South America trip, long trip, and we are thinking to take the same gap year, yeah. uh, kind of gap year, and going around working from so many places that yeah. we find that are allowing us to work remotely so yeah this is just the the, the plan after this after covid 19 is over is to go away and travel. forget That's forget our house <laughs> stay safe stay safe guys stay safe home home it's the right time to take care of yourself yeah ciao Bye.